Hello! The following tutorial will explain how to design thermal map display for VizWeather. Begin by creating a parent container for the template's hierarchy. If you don't have map server available, you can find map samples under the VizCurious Maps folder. For the following example, pick a map of Europe and add GeoImage plugin on it. Scaling manipulations shouldn't be applied in the container level, but only in the GeoImage plugin UI. Set the use base map to off and the map size value. From control weather plugins, add CWS map plugin to the container. This plugin will allow editing and changing the map from this weather. Change the field identifier value and edit the description field. From this weather, add W image refresh. This plugin will update all child plugins upon any map change. Create a child container and drop CWS ISO plugin from the control weather plugin. Open the ISO grid and set the ISO type to be bands. Browse to the thermal demo data. New ISO Therm, EC025, Contour, Data and Hours, and click OK. The default level values are minus 10, 35, and 5. That means that ISO grid will draw a band every 5 degrees from minus 10 to 35 degrees. You can go on and edit each band's color value. You can copy a color from one band to another by dragging it and change the alpha value of each to fit with the relevant temperature. But let's look at a different, more flexible method. Instead of color source being set to plugin, set it to be legend. Let's design out the legend. Create a parent container outside of the map hierarchy and four child containers. The namings of these containers are fixed and their order is important. After these four basic containers, you can add any elements as desired. Name the first one Minval, the second one Maxval. The third one, number of intervals. The name of the fourth container is not fixed, but it is expected that it will hold a color ramp. You can find a sample. Let's quickly create an object to hold the texture. Move it in the Z a little as the map hides it. And give it a legend alike look. Position it. Now you can import your own ramp or find, let's just tweak it a little more, or find a sample under this weather tutorial images folder. Set the mapping to, v to be vertex and the wrap to be clamp. Add a font to MinVal container and edit its characteristics. This font value will be used by IsoGrid to calculate the range. Now 
the value that will be typed in minval will replace the default minus 10 that we saw before when isogrid was set to color source plugin. You can either display the minimum value or not, but it, it must exist in the legend hierarchy. Go on and design the max val as well. Apply a font, a material. You can quickly copy the scaling and the positioning from min val and adjust them. Set this one to be right, right aligned and reposition. The value of number of intervals will replace the default 5 degrees that we saw before when isogrid was set to plug in in color source. As with the two other values, it can be either displayed or not, but must exist in the legend hierarchy in this specific order. Back to isogrid, drag the legend parent to legend container holder and click rebuild. Isogrid will map the color ramp over the data from minus 10 to 45, divided by 20 and sample for every color band. Now let's experiment with the values. Change the value of number of intervals from 20 to be 5 and click rebuild in Isogrid. The range didn't change, but now it's been divided into five and produces a very rough look. A higher value will give a smoother look and a higher detailed color map. Remember to click Rebuild in Isogrid upon every change. Next. Let's experiment some with minval and maxval. Bring them closer together. A larger value for the minval and a smaller value for the maxval. And see the color at the edges of the ramp. Take more and more effect of the map as you go. Let's set them back to values that make sense for such color ramp. Next, we'll cut the therm up according to the coastlines. Go back to the map samples and replace the European map with, a, with one that has an alpha channel. Being a child of that map, every display over the transparent areas will become transparent as well. If you wish to preserve the nice oceans we had in the previous map, simply drag it as well as a child. Add geo image to the container to place it in the correct position. Move it back in the Z, and so you'll get a nice combination between the color map and the satellite imagery. Next, let's set up keyframes and animate the data. By default, two frames are loaded, and it should be enough for setting up the animation. But in order to make it easier for you to see the difference, let's reduce the value of number of intervals 
and load few more few more frames ten should be a good number now you can see the difference between the frames make sure that the current frame value is set to zero and set the first keyframe Change the value and set the second one. Let's switch to the stage now and name the last keyframe end key, which is a saved name for the last keyframe of the animated data. Let's change back the number of intervals value to a large value to get a, a smoother column map. Click Rebuild, save the scene, close it, go on air, and test in weather. By switching to this weather, click Ctrl R to refresh the render window. Load the template and point to the demo data on the disk. An error indicates that the date trends haven't been set yet. Click on the calendar icon and on the magic date button. This weather will display the whole data range available under that folder. Click OK. Let's look at two very useful manipulations we can apply over the data. Changing the smoothing value will generate a smoother or rougher borders between the different temperatures bands. As well, you can influence the, in the animation interpolation by changing the time step value. Playing the original data will look like this, a jaggy animation Setting the timestamp to be every one minute will interpolate a smooth animation. Last, click on the animation editor. Let's change the animation speed. Changing the length will move the end key that we set before on the stage and will cause the animation to play faster or slower. Here ends Designing Thermal Maps display for this weather. See you in the next Designing for this weather tutorials.